Good morning or good afternoon, depending on uh, when you watch this uh, short introduction video. My name is Brian Kremens. I'm your uh, instructor for English 102. So I wanted to just mention a few brief things uh, here. Uh, we haven't even started yet. Uh, the class starts uh, next week on Tuesday. But for those of you that wanted to take a look at the syllabus, wanted to kind of get familiar with uh, the Blackboard shelf for the class, uh, I wanted to do a short introduction and just mention a few things that you can take a look at and also mention a few things that the class uh, will be about. Some of you I know already because I uh, know you from English 101, so hello again and, and Happy New Year. Uh, for those of you that I don't know, that, that are new to my classes, I look forward to meeting you, uh, virtually at least, and also uh, to reading your essays. Uh, and I'm looking forward to a great semester. Uh, a lot of good readings that we're going to do, a lot of good writing assignments. And so uh, what I just want to mention briefly today are just a couple of things um, that you can start taking a look at if you'd like to. Uh, class, again, doesn't start until next week. Uh, but I wanted to make all the content, at least the content that is now uh, ready, uh, available to you. So one thing you can start off by doing, uh, if you'd like, would be to take a look at the syllabus for the class. Please let me know if you have any questions on it. Uh, the syllabus has all of the due dates for the papers that we'll have. It also mentions where we're going to be doing the, the readings. And one thing I should also mention, too, is that in addition to any of the electronic readings that I have uh, up on Blackboard, and you'll see those in various folders, and we'll do those as we go through the semester, um, there are also two books for the class. Um, this one, perfect example by John Porcellino, uh, there's a new edition of it that is coming out in February. So that means we're going to be reading it in later February, early March. And so if you haven't been able to find one of these older editions of it, which you're welcome to use, by the way, uh, because the content of this older edition is the same as what the new edition is going to be looking like when it comes out uh, in a few weeks. Um, but uh, again, don't worry if you haven't been able to get a copy of this yet because the new edition is coming out from the publisher and the bookstore has assured me that it will be available uh, uh, in February. And so that's why, like I said, we're going to be dealing with this or reading this book a little bit later on towards the middle of the semester. But that's uh, John Porcelino's perfect example, which is the only book that I know of, and this is why I'm so happy it's back in print, uh, that it takes place in Hoffman Estates in Schomburg and Palatine. So it's set in the Northwest suburbs, right next to Harper. Uh, in fact, the uh, the neighborhood that Porcelino grew up in is three miles from campus. So it'll be fun to do this autobiographical graphic novel uh, towards the middle of the semester. But we're also reading Solonin by Inio Asano. Uh, that's another graphic novel, but this is a manga. So if you get this, you'll notice that it is printed as it would have been printed originally in Japanese. And so you do read it in reverse. Um, I won't get into that now, but it's it's a lot of fun. It's a good, it's a good, uh, it's a good book. Very well drawn, very well written. A really, really cool story. Um, so I have a whiteboard here, which those of you who have had me before will know that I do this because I miss I miss my whiteboard in the classrooms. Uh, so uh, I have two things on here that you can think about for this week. Again, read the syllabus. Let me know if you have any questions. And I wanted to mention the course theme. Uh, English 102 is a research writing class. That means every paper that we do will use some kinds of outside sources. Uh, with uh, the exception of the first one. The first one is more of an introductory assignment. It doesn't quite have some of the research components. But everything else we do is a research paper, which means we'll be reciting. We'll be going through MLA format again. Uh, and the themes I noticed as I was putting together the readings and, and updating the readings from the last time I taught this, uh, last last spring, um, I noticed that friendship was the theme, um, which I know sounds very simple and straightforward, but I'm a big advocate of picking very simple themes that then we can look at together and parse out and, and find research on. And so you'll notice that a lot of the readings that we do, uh, many of which are by Chicago authors, so we have Sandra Cisneros, we have Stuart Dybeck, John Porcelino I, I include in that category. Um, Inio Asano, I'm sure, has been to Chicago, but is, is a Japanese author. Um, but a lot of the work that we're going to take a look at does deal with this theme of friendship in its various forms, which I think um, is, a, is an important theme to take a look at right now. I think it's also an important theme that um, we often misjudge as being overly simplistic um, or overly um, uh, 
overly straightforward maybe is the, the word that I'm, I'm looking for, but that is a thread that ties these pieces together. So as you're reading the pieces, you'll notice the relationships formed by the characters, the context in which they form these relationships. At any rate, that's one of the things that ties all of the readings and even the assignments together that we're going to do over the course of the semester. Um, now, a couple other things I want to mention, and I'll go into this in more detail uh, next week when I put up uh, um, some other introductory videos. Um, this is an asynchronous class. Uh, I do occasionally, uh, usually every two weeks or so, I do check-ins that are optional, which means that you can take the course at your pace in terms of watching the video. So I don't do online uh, discussions where I require everyone to be there because it's not that kind of class. If, if you signed up for this one, you'll notice that it is listed as asynchronous. And that means uh, really two things. Uh, I'm going to be doing at least one or two videos a week, lecture videos and overviews of the writing and reading assignments. Uh, and that also means that you'll be emailing me your papers, and I'll talk more about that procedure next week in other videos. But again, it's an asynchronous class, so that means that, um, you know, every couple of days you'll get an update from me about what to do, what to be working on, with suggestions on how to work on it. It's a very structured class, and, and for those of you that have taken me before for 101, um, you, you know that it's a very structured syllabus. The due dates are, are set. They're already listed on there. The readings are set. The readings I have a little more flexibility with. Um, and sometimes I move them or change them around slightly um, just so that uh, I can sort of uh, meet the needs of the class because every class is very different. So I don't like to be locked into the exact same reading schedule every time I teach the course. But roughly I follow it and I do not change the dates for the paper. So one thing I would recommend is to start looking at when the paper dates are so that you can start planning ahead, especially as you get your syllabuses from other classes. Um, now, also, in terms of meeting with me, I am happy to talk with you one-on-one -on -one over Zoom. I'm happy to go through uh, uh, drafts with you. I, I'm happy to look at rough drafts. Um, if you'd like to make an appointment with me, we can set that up and talk about a paper. We can walk through it together. Um, I enjoy the editing process. Uh, I'm a published author myself, as those of you who have had me before know. I have a new book that's coming out this spring. I'm an editor for a journal published by Ohio State University Press. So writing and reading really is my life. In addition to the teaching that I do, I'm also working on my own project. So it's a process that I enjoy, even though, as I've said many times, I'm not the fastest writer. I'm not the fastest reader either, um, but uh, I've been at this quite a long time, and uh, I look forward to sharing what I know with you and, and to uh, making the best semester that we can together in these still sort of um, uh, difficult sort of online conditions. Um, so I'm, I'm here to help. I'm here to support you. So please let me know anything that I can do. I'm happy to, uh, to help you out. Um, so in the meantime, I want you to enjoy uh, the time you have left of your winter break. If you do have any other questions for me, please send me an email uh, on the syllabus. If you want to learn more about me, you can read more about my background and, and my uh, time at Harper. I've been here since 2008. I was made full professor in uh, 2019. I have a PhD in English with a focus in American and African American literature early Af and early African American film um, from the University of Connecticut. Uh, my undergrad degree is in creative writing, so I have kind of a sort of a hybrid background. I have both a scholarly background and also a creative writing background from my uh, undergraduate uh, degree in creative writing from Dartmouth College. Um, and I've been teaching for quite a long time. In fact, I did the calculation the other day, and I believe that this will be my 25th year that I'm going into. I started teaching in 1996, teaching first year writing at the University of Connecticut when I was still a grad student working on my uh, my uh, master's and my PhD. And I still enjoy it, even after all these years. I uh, come from a family of teachers. If you read the syllabus, you'll find out more about that. My mom's a retired special education teacher. My sister's a middle school uh, English teacher. My my dad even taught math briefly before he uh, decided to go to law school. So he's the only one in the immediate family that did not uh, stay in teaching, although he did start off as a math teacher when he first graduated from college. Uh, so I enjoy this process. Uh, I also understand it, as I said in other videos, the difficulty of the writing process, because again, it's something that I'm doing all the time myself for my own projects. And uh, so again, anything that I can do to support you and to help you and to make this an enjoyable experience and and uh, a fun one even. I know that sounds weird. Some of you are like, is it possible for the writing process to be fun? Yes, it is. And we'll show you that. Um, so 
at any rate, this is just a little hello, a little intro. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, we'll have more videos up next week. And next week also for the first week of classes, I will set up a, uh, an optional sort of check-in. So if you want to ask me one-on-one -on -one specific questions, I'll set up a day and time where uh, I can talk with you if you want to sign on. Uh, I know you have, all have very different work and family schedules. So any of the online check-ins that I do over the course of the semester, I will vary the days and times where I do those to accommodate different people's schedules. But remember, everything is pretty much asynchronous. So uh, we're, we'll be communicating through email, maybe through Zoom meetings, one-on-one -on -one if you want to talk with me. But I don't do online um, uh, required discussion sections. That's, that's not the nature of an asynchronous class like this. We want it to be as accessible uh, and as supportive as possible for everybody. Um, so I've probably talked for too long already, so uh, I will sign off. And again, if you have any questions, please send me an email to my Harper email that you'll see on the syllabus. And uh, if, if you um, you know have any other queries about the syllabus or about the readings, just please let me know. And I will see you soon with the next video for the class. See you then.